So hi and welcome back to this video. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be allowing the user to uh, upload photos to the uh, photo albums. So um, well that's really all there is to say so let's get started. So uh, this is where we left off and um, here's where we left off here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to create a new page and I'll save it. And I'll save it as a .php file and save it um, as um upload photo .php. so uh, here's our page saved so what I'm going to do is come up here and I'm just going to go up to the top and copy that so now if we go to upload photo dot php here it is here so um i'm just gonna make it a bit more aesthetically pleasing so upload your photos um and then uh all we have to do is put a horizontal line underneath it so there it is so uh, on this one we can go and open, uh, oh, we can open the account settings file because it has some uh, code for actually uploading images. And uh, if we, um, well, okay, we're just gonna copy the form actually. So here's the uh, upload form. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it here. So um, let's just see, obviously it's just going to look like a normal form. Um, so let's just get rid of this image. Uh, it's not, it doesn't look very good, but um, Okay, so I just thought of a better idea. Um, I'm actually um, okay. So I'm um, maybe save my other idea for another video. But here's our form. It's not very. I mean, it's not. It's not really anything very special. It's just a basic file uploader with an upload button underneath. Uh, so uh, if you want, maybe you can. I don't know, added better form or a multi image upload form. But for the video, with these videos, I'm just going to add a basic upload form just to uh, provide the functionality for uploading photos. So, uh, where is it? Uh, here it is, it says upload pick. So, uh, that's the name of the submit button. So, up here, all we can, all we need to do is type in if is set post upload pick and then we can just echo button pressed so what this means is if they press the submit button it's going to uh, show them that so let's try it and it says button pressed so that's good whoops so uh, in here we can just cut, uh, delete that and then paste in some of the code we used in the other videos um so we can just copy this so copy all of that and then we're just going to paste it in here and then fix it if we need to so um first we need to change this so instead of we can uh, keep it in the user data folder, but we're going to put it into the um, user photos slash um, just say user photos for now and then paste it in there. And that's why this was open, this folder. So uh, all we're going to do is, where's it? Oops. It's not what we want. 
Um, Okay, so uh, this means now I can click away. So now I can add um, a new folder. And actually I'm in the wrong folder, so take that and go into the user data folder and call it, I think it's user photos. So in here's where all our uh, files will be stored. Um, And change this to user photos. And for now, we'll just undo that query and then change this to upload photo.php. So now, if we refresh and we're just okay, line 32. Okay, so uh, let's just try putting another one of these in. Okay, so that fixed it. So if we go to choose file, and because I just uh, made my way to the find friends folder, and what I'm going to do is I'll go to the ink file, or uh, not that, whoops, images folder and I will just upload default pick so now if we click upload image um, obviously it sent us back to this page when it uploaded and in user photos we have a randomly generated folder name with a folder or photo called our default pick in it so uh, that's good that means it's working and I mean we hardly had to do anything for that so the next thing we have to do is inside our albums or our photos we just need to change the image url so that it matches um the photo so what we're gonna or matches uh, the url of the photo so what we'll do is we'll just say we'll just delete this actually and what we'll say is insert into our uh, photos values uh, where username equals wait um, where yep username equals user and in here we're just gonna insert some run or the uh, values to fill the fields uh, the most important one is obviously the URL of the photo so that should be enough fields so the first one is ID so we can leave it blank second one is the UID of the album so for the moment we'll leave that as test date posted we need to create a variable for that so I'll just call it date for now uh, description we need to create a variable for that and image URL so uh, image URL is actually just going to equal um, user no, uh, uh, we have to I'm gonna have to include the uh, full URL because um, what, um, it won't work otherwise so just if you're doing it on your website just make sure to include the full URL um, and then in here I'm just going to put in user data forward slash user photos forward slash and then random der name and then finally Uh, profile pick name so uh, forward slash profile pick name uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run this query and see what happens or I uh, run this script 
So let's upload the search icon this time and click upload. It uploaded successfully and here it is. So now if we go to photos. Okay, so it didn't it didn't work. It says one total. Okay, so for some reason that query is not working, so to keep things simple, let's just copy this other query from the index page. Just to see if trying to figure out what's going wrong. Because for all intents and purposes, that should have worked. So it's just something simple that I've probably missed. So just change this to photos, then this one to test, this one to date. Mm, okay, actually, it's username. So I think I realized why it didn't work. It's because I left out the username field. So uh, actually let's undo that back. Uh, so let's just add in another field. And let's try it this time. Uh, obviously we're going to get under, or uh, we won't actually, but... Uh, obviously there was a few errors in that because of the undeclared variables, but um, doesn't matter. So let's just see did this actually work. No, it didn't. Okay, so uh, I'll go back to um, whoops. I'll go back to the original plan. So just copy this query. Um. Change that to photos. Um, and then this goes ID, username, uh, date, um, description. I mean, or um, for the moment, we'll just leave it as I'll just say image URL. Um, okay, yes, I'm. I realize now. Undo that. Leave that the way it was. So uh, the reason we were having that problem. It's because when you insert something into a database, there's no where clause in the query. So, um, I was imagining an update query. So now if I click choose file, try it again, it, this will work most likely. Um, yeah, two total. So as you can see, uh, it actually did insert the reason that says uh, zero, zero, zero is because we didn't give the date variable a value and we didn't give the description a value. So, so uh, now if we okay, so uh, we need to swap those around actually, but whatever. Uh, now if we go to my albums, no, actually that won't show up uh, because the UDIDs are different. So. What we'll do, change that one to test, and then change this one to user. So now, let's try it for the final time. Now we go to album slash cinema, test album, and hmm. Okay, so let me see that. Try that again. So, um, let's just log out and log back in. See what I don't know why that's not working. So, let's try album slash cinema.
Okay, so uh, for some reason that keeps refreshing us back, so let's just comment out these lines for now and then see our uh, photos. So undeclared variable UDID or UID even line 25. Okay, so uh, what the problem looks like is um, the, the photos query doesn't seem to like photos, or uh, when there's, it doesn't seem to like it when there's more than one photo, so um, let's just try adding a limit thing. Limit equals, I don't know, 20. So let's just refresh the page. Whoops. So I uh, limit 20. So now if we go back localhost, and now we try to um, upload a photo. Let's just refresh. Okay, so we're getting the same problem. So, um, let me see. Yeah, okay, the problem is um, we didn't put a while loop in here. So, um, right, maybe not. So I know what's happening. Um, it's actually because We've declared this variable in this what in this if statement, and we've closed off the if statement, and we try to use it somewhere else, so it's not going to work. So to um, fix this, all we have to do is cut this, and then just paste it right here, and then we get zero, we get nothing. So. Um, so uh, I know I've made a lot of mistakes this video, but I've sorted it out now. So all we have to do is change this to picture, and then down here, we can just say, um, oh, never mind, we don't need to put anything down there. So. Um, and before we uh, see the result of this, we also need to change these from get to row because I don't know, I stupidly um, use row up here and then get for all of those. So and now we just refresh, and here it is we have our two images uh, in the album. And uh, you can see here we can add as many images as we want. And then they all show up in the album. So uh, this video has had a lot of mistakes and I'm sorry for that. But uh, in the next video we'll just be finishing all this off. Getting it ready to go and then uh, moving on to something else in the series. So if you enjoyed the video don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Or comment, like and subscribe. Uh, I promise I won't make so many mistakes next time. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it and uh, want to see more.